Wow, everyone, look at that light again. Definitely think we better stay inside because that, that uh, that's a weird out there. Not used to seeing that. Hello, everyone. Randy here. I'm working on the 2510. And oh boy, what do we got going on here today? Uh, actually, going to see once maybe we get to uh, putting that uh, tire on, at least partway on. I don't have the inner tube here yet, so I can't put it all the way on, but we can get it halfway on. Uh, basically, when you put a tire on, you basically get it halfway on, then you put the inner tube in it, and then of course you put it on the rest of the way. So. Might see if we get to that here today, not sure. Uh, depends if my dad has time to help or not because I don't think that's something I want to tackle myself. Also, uh, I think what we're gonna start with here, I'm gonna paint the inside of this here. I got that uh, rusty paint stuff, that special paint. I think I'm gonna slap that on the inside here real quick. It's not you know like terrible in here, but it's not great either. So we'll see if we can clean it up just a little bit better. I'll put some black paint on it, I think that'll help. And then uh, what else? Oh, uh, from last uh, video there, um, see if we can get to uh, wiring up the oil pressure sensor there as well, the lights, and also running that uh, oil pressure line as well. I want to run it through some uh, 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 loom, put it through some loom there to protect it, and I'll run it down all through you know the inside there. Uh, hopefully that won't be uh, too hard. Uh, what else we got? I don't know if we'll make it that far, but uh, maybe uh, start taking that seat off and uh, getting ready to paint that. I'm still debating what I want to paint here. I definitely want to paint the seat area. I'm not, I'm not sure so much about this area. Yes and no, but uh, definitely the seat area I want to paint. So might uh, we'll see once how far we get this video. Depends how long it takes to get that tire on. Not sure on that. Speaking of getting the tire on here, let me, uh, I guess I'll lay this up here. I went ahead and purchased another uh, mount demount bar. I guess, I don't know that's what they call it. Mount demount bar, that's what it's called right there for uh, tires, the Ken tool. Uh, this is a little bit longer one, a little bit sturdier one than the one I currently have. So hopefully make it a little bit easier. It's also got some special nubs on it. I'm actually not even entirely sure. I probably should look up how to use this particular one because I'm not sure how these nubs and all that stuff work. It's got a little point there too. It's something special probably that, uh, yeah, works really well if you know how to use it maybe, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, again, we were debating, you know, taking it somewhere and getting it all done, but uh, ended up doing a lot of this ourselves. Of course, we'll have to take it somewhere to get it filled. But uh, yeah, we'll see once. We'll give it a give it the old college try here, I guess you could say, putting the tire on. If it don't go well, well, then we gotta take it somewhere. So we get managed to get it off ourselves, which is kind of nice, so that way I get it all painted. Otherwise, uh, the initial plan, and it was kind of a pain, it's like I'm gonna have to take it somewhere, get it to take the tire off. I'm probably gonna take the uh, rim and stuff home so I can paint it, clean it, and then I'll have to bring it back, have them put the tire on and get it filled and you know all that good stuff. So yeah, this should work out pretty good. This way too, uh, we got a place right down the road that'll fill it for us. So assuming we can get it on and everything's good, we can just drive the whole tractor down the road and just have them, you know, fill it while it's on the tractor. So that should work really nice if we can get a tire on anyway. Like I said, we'll give it a try. Uh, I, I did notice uh, uh, cancer and reproductive harm. Really? Oh, California. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So uh, by the way, everyone, if you live in California, I guess you can't use this tool. I, I guess it causes cancer in California. That's, that's a shame. It must suck to be in California because I'm, I'm telling you folks, everything in California causes cancer. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, yeah, set up. I probably should put something underneath here uh, before I start painting in case I spill it because I'm just going to take a brush and slap it on.
Well, everyone, progress continues to be made here. Uh, putting this back on, surprisingly, was uh, like a little too easy almost. I better not jinx myself and uh, say that. Uh, then again, we did have uh, three people working on it. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, also got the new bar involved. Again, not entirely sure how to use this new bar. I'm gonna have to maybe uh, see if I can find a few videos on how to use all, because it's got some different curves and stuff. I'm used to using just, you know, that one. But then again, I'm also used to changing smaller tires than this, so. This will definitely be the largest tire I've done. Uh, continuing to work on the oil gauge. I didn't bother recording any of that. Here's what I've come up with so far. I've got the, uh, the oil, land, uh, oil line ran up through the dash here and under through all this stuff. That was a bit of fun. Uh, I got the uh, power running up to it here as well. I found on the back here, there's this extra uh, connection right here that comes off the back of the light switch. I can plug straight into that. I don't even have to like cut any wires. I can just boom right in there. In fact, I've got the connection uh, hanging right down here. I've got that uh, coming down through here already, ready to go. And then I'm just working on putting some loom. I'm probably not gonna worry too much about up in here. I don't think anyway. Well, maybe I should, uh, yeah, we'll see what's here. I've got the loom, it's like down, and you probably can't see that. It, it's like right here. It's where the loom comes down to at the moment because that's where the oil line goes that way. And then of course the uh, this wire comes down this way. So I uh, still wanna run some loom for that oil line yet back to the uh, where it connects into the back side of the other the other side of the motor there. Oh, it reminds me too, I need to uh, tighten up the connections on here. Well, I just happened to notice that while I was looking at here. I need to uh, check what's uh, leaking on there yet. So note to self, gotta fix that as well. Again, like I said, everyone, lots of little fiddly bits to be done here. And the major project course is this tire yet. Some touch up paint. I'm thinking, uh, again, like I said, I, I wanna paint the seat area here. I'm, I'm debating on this yet. I, I don't know, not sure on that yet, but uh, Again, I'm sure it looked good if you painted the entire tractor, which, again, we'd have to have it a lot cleaner than it is and be a lot more work. Uh, yeah, so anyway, again, everyone, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.